What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. If you guys watched my video from two days ago, I talked about the most desired attires that I would like to see the most from Mattel. So that actually gave me the idea to do today's video, which is my dream WWE Elite set. When I say that, I mean like if they came up to me and said, MDT, what six figures would you like to see in the next Elite series? So I guess, um, is it Elite 68 is the next series that we don't know about just yet? It may be 69, I can't remember, but if they came up to me and said, what would you like to see in 68? This is These are the figures that I would like to see. Um, I know that in Elite 67, we're actually getting one of these, and that is uh, Jeff Hardy. However, um, I'm going to show you the attires that I would like to see for that one and this one. So Jeff Hardy is going to be in my Elite set, but also I'm going to name my five other figures. And there's a couple rules to this. You know, I, I didn't want to pick any NXT guys. I wanted to sort of make it only main roster guys. And then another thing I wanted to do is make sure there were no flashbacks. So these are all current guys on the main roster right now. And again, no NXT guys, so I couldn't, you know, it would be really easy if I was going to do NXT too. I could easily knock out um, a full set. But I wanted to make it a little bit tougher on myself, and I went all main roster guys. And this is the six figures that I came up with that I would like to see. And again, they're probably within the last two years. That way, you know, they're current and up-to-date, and they're not, you know, way too out-of-date. I'm pretty sure they may be within the last year. So let's go ahead and get started with my dream WWE Elite line based off the current roster. All right, guys, so starting off first, we do have Jeff Hardy. This is what I was talking about. We are getting a Jeff Hardy in Elite 67, but I'm not sure if the face is painted. So I would do an updated current day painted face Jeff Hardy. You know, the only one we've gotten is the entrance greats Jeff Hardy. And as amazing and great as that figure is, I think that we need an updated one. You can see here, these are three customs by Dork105 on Instagram. Very talented customizer. Um, he nails these Jeff Hardys, and this is what I would want for Mattel. I love the one on the left is the one where he brought back the face paint for the first time on SmackDown Live. The one in the middle is the 4th of July attire, I do believe. And then the one on the right is one of his random SmackDown Live attires when he was feuding with Randy Orton, I'm pretty sure. And um, I would prefer any of these. I think that all of them look great. And again, I just wanted an updated current day face paint Jeff Hardy. And um, so we can stop using the entrance grates over and over. It is, again, as incredible as the entrance grates is, I would like to see, you know, that new hair mold. And um, we need to get those gauges in his ears. And it would just be a lot cooler to see one of his updated attires with the long sleeves and the zip-up shirt. Um, and we could also get some cool entrance shirts or something like that as his accessories. Or a U.S. Championship could be a cool accessory for this guy. So that was my first figure. I went ahead and knocked this one out since we are getting Elite 67 Jeff Hardy. I think it would be cool to get an updated face paint. If that one's not face paint, then we definitely, I would definitely add one um, into my updated current dream fantasy lineup. The next figure I would put in my Elite set, guys, is a heel updated Dean Ambrose. This custom on the left was made by my boy Lesnar Time on Instagram. And then the one on the right is still made by Dork105, the same guy that made the Jeff Hardys. Um, Dean Ambrose updated head scan. That one on the left is pretty much perfect in my opinion. I feel like maybe the arms are a bit big. However, I still think it looks pretty good. I love that head scan. I think that head scan is absolutely perfect um, for a perfect heel Dean Ambrose. And I think the heel Dean Ambrose is such a badass character. And we could either do his heel turn night or we could do when he first returned, you know, that return to society t-shirt. Maybe you could give us the figure on the right with the figure on the left's head scan and then give us that return to society uh, t-shirt with sleeveless or, you know, regular sleeves. You could cut the sleeves off and he could have his updated, you know, charcoal washed jeans with, uh, that would be a really cool Dean Ambrose figure. I think that we will probably get that in the future. I think that would be the perfect Dean Ambrose figure is to give us that stone cold torso with an updated shirt. You know, they always give us the t-shirts with the Dean Ambrose figures. So it'd be really easy to do that. And then just update the color of those pants. Um, give it a little detail in there, and it would be a fantastic figure. So I had to put heel Dean Ambrose in my uh, MDT Elite current roster set. Guys, you know, we could not go with a fantasy current roster lineup if we didn't have my boy Seth Rollins in here. 
And I would put his WrestleMania 34 attire, you know, that white walker or whatever the hell the thing is called, um, the gray with the mesh patterns all over it. We did get a basic in this attire from the WrestleMania 35 Battle Packs with the Miz. And then you have my custom Elite from that attire on the right that I made quite a while back. I think it was like two days after WrestleMania I made that figure. And um, I think it would be really cool. I think my boy Chase from Burnout Inc. actually had the idea that if you included this figure, you could give him an alternate head scan that, you know, we're getting alternate head scans nowadays with our figure, so it could easily be done. Give him an alternate head scan that included the blue contacts. How freaking sweet would that be? And my fantasy dreams here in this Elite set, we would definitely be getting that. So I would include that, and um, I would include his entrance shirt with that as well. You know, we get that a lot of times with Seth Rollins figures. So I'd throw it in his entrance shirt. I would throw in the Intercontinental Championship that he won on that night. And then I would throw in the interchangeable head with the blue contacts. So I would definitely throw in WrestleMania 34, Seth Rollins. I think this is one of the only attires that we haven't gotten in elite form. This and then his SummerSlam 2018 attire with Thanos boot, which I almost put in here. But I think that um, we needed to get this figure first. So I went ahead and put WrestleMania 34, Seth Rollins into my dream current roster MDT Fantasy Elite lineup. Next up, guys, we have a figure that was included in my video from two days ago. We have the Elimination Chamber 2018 Finn Balor. And then if you'll notice on the right, we have a beautiful custom made by my boy BEW Animations on Instagram. And um, I would most likely make the Demon figure a Chase figure. So you know how there's a Chase figure in every Elite set now. I would make the regular Elite figure the Blue Elimination Chamber in that attire. I just love that attire so much. I've been running around crazy trying to get an extra Top Talent Finn Balor to make that attire. So I really, really, really want to make that custom Finn Balor. I love that blue attire. I just think it looks so beautiful. And then on the right, I would have the Chase variant of that Elite Finn Balor as the SummerSlam 2018 Finn Balor Demon where he crushed Baron Corbin. We could have two different head scans on that Chase variant. We could have, you know, just a serious head and then the interchangeable head could be the tongue sticking out like you see on the custom there. Um, one of my favorite Demon attires I think he's ever rocked. I just think it's so clean, um, so bad. A looks so nice. I love the red on the armbands. I love the chest design and I love the teeth on the hands. So I think that it would be a must to get both of these. I had to include them both here in my fantasy lineup for the current roster. And um, so, so we have a regular Elimination Chamber Finn in the uh, regular Elite line, and then the Chase variant would be a SummerSlam 2018 Demon. Next up, guys, we have one of my favorite wrestlers on the entire main roster. We have Cedric Alexander. And just the other night, actually, on 205 Live, he wore this attire right here. You can see it's like yellow, blue, white, and red. And it's so clean. I love the all-white knee pad and kick pad combination. He wore this in a match with Leo Rush. And I do believe he ended the win streak of Leo Rush. So I would love to see this in figure form. I just love those all-white kick pads and knee pads. They really tie everything together. And it's a really good contrast. Um, um, I love this Cedric Alexander we're getting in the future. You know, it was revealed at San Diego Comic-Con, I believe, that we were going to be getting a uh, Cedric Alexander in the future. So I would most definitely make it this attire in my Elite set. I doubt we get this attire when this figure drops from Mattel, but um, I had to include it in mine. He actually has a ton of great attires. He has his Black Panther attire. He has his uh, red, black, and blue attire. He has his blue, black, and red attire. There are so many cool Cedric Alexander attires out there, so um, it's going to be really cool to see which one Mattel goes with, but if I were choosing, I would go with this one that he literally just wore like last week. I just, again, really love this. Um, if you guys missed that match, definitely go check it out, but um, I would include Cedric Alexander. You know, he's not on NXT, so he could be included in my lineup here today, so I couldn't leave out my boy Cedric. And last but not least, guys, we are finishing this set off with my boy Dolph Ziggler. And this figure is one of the matches he had with Seth Rollins for the Intercontinental Championship. Can't remember which uh, event it was. However, this really doesn't represent this attire. This isn't, you know, I want this specific attire. Pretty much what this is saying is that I want a 2018 updated Dolph Ziggler just because we haven't had one since Elite 48, and it was one of his 2015 attires, which is from forever ago. I think it was like Survivor Series 2015 is the last attire that we got from Mattel of Dolph Ziggler. So I think that's pretty ridiculous. We definitely need an updated Dolph Ziggler that we could easily get one here. So if I were making a set, I would definitely update it here. You could either give us this attire, you could give us his Extreme Rules attire, you know, that Evil Knievel royal blue and like lightish reddish pink with the stars going down the side. 
Um, I would take anything really. I just would really like an updated version. You know, the, maybe they could give us one of those updated cloth jackets, you know, the silver and black jacket, or even the red one that he wore on Monday Night Raw this past week when he answered the Intercontinental Championship open challenge from Seth Rollins. Um, you know, we got those with the Usos. We got one of those jackets, and we're getting one with Roderick Strong, and we got one with Shinsuke Nakamura. So it would easily be able, to, they would easily be able to do this at Mattel to give us one of, you know, Dolph Ziggler's cloth jackets. I'm not a really big fan of his jackets, however... If we're going to be getting an updated Dolph Ziggler, why not go ahead and throw in that cloth jacket since, you know, we'd be getting an updated 2018 Ziggler. So I think that would be um, the finishing touches on my Elite set, guys. I would love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Who would you put in your updated current roster fantasy lineup? If Mattel went up to you and said, you know, give us six figures you want to see in our next Elite lineup and you can only use current roster members, let me know who you would pick down in the comment section below. What do you think of my picks? Do you think they suck? Do you think they're great? Let me know down in the comment section below, but that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.